Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. So today I am going to jump right into a thrift haul for you. Look, everybody needs to practice a little self-care in 2020 and for me, that's meant going through and picking through some stuff at, you know, thrift stores. So, so, but I found some amazing, like so freaking amazing gems. So let me tell you real quick. Oh, you just saw my mess. Okay. So let me tell you real quick. So the thrift store that I went to, it's called A to Z Thrift Store. It's in Raleigh and I've never been before. The reason being is because they're only open certain hours and with COVID, it's they're only open like Wednesday through Saturday from 11 to three. And <clears throat> it's also in the same plaza as another thrift store. It's in the same plaza as like the Cause for Pause thrift store that always has kitties inside of it because it's like for cat shelters and so like I like to go in there and play with the kitties and then look at the stuff but I've never been to A to Z so yesterday I didn't have any meetings and you know with everything I was like okay I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna hit this up because they're actually open and y'all it was like the best thrift store that I have ever been to like in Raleigh ridiculous like the prices were insane like they were so 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 good and I believe that's it Whole Foods bag I believe they are um it supports, I think it was Alliance. So it like supports women in need, I believe. I'm, I'm terrible, I should have researched that. Anyways, um, and it's run by like a bunch of little old lady volunteers and they were like, they were so sweet and they're like, oh, I see you like that girl. You won't get to the, we got some other ones over here, honey. I'm like, just like really like sweet, like wolves, other women. Oh my god, the prices, the prices, the prices were so, so good, like so cheap. And I was like, oh my god, why have I never been here before? Oh my god. So I'm gonna like put it definitely back on my like rotation. Oh, and I got a Starbucks this morning. I rarely get Starbucks since I don't like their coffee. But I did get a, it's an almond caramel brulee almond milk latte, just two pumps of the caramel juice, caramel brulee juice. It's Christmas season. The holiday cups are back. Anywho. If you think like I'm distracted now and I get a little scroll, 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 well, give me some espresso, see what happens. So first up, y'all, look at this. Look at this tray. <gasps> this is fantastic. So they had this tray. It is, I did a little research and it's like a Holt Howard, like vintage Santa tray, right? Um, like probably from the 50s by like the atomic little starburst here on it um and i didn't see a price like i didn't see any markings on the back but i was pretty sure it was old because it's got like it's got a little like wear and rust but the front is gorgeous just gorgeous you know what do you know what this was 99 cents 99 cents for this i saw these up on ebay and they um well they've sold the ones on ebay have already sold for like 34 30 bucks for this i don't know like i found some crazy gems that i'm half debating if i want to like resurrect my etsy channel because some of these things here like they're just too good to like leave there and some i'm gonna like some i'm definitely gonna use in my like holiday decor um but i don't know if we use all of them but some were just way too good Way too good to pass up. So next up, let's see what this is. I found this little hand painted, yeah. This little hand painted snowman bell, right? Snowman? I guess it's a snowman. And on the inside, this is from Elizabeth Dobbins, 1988. So just a really cute little like homemade hand painted piece that I thought would look super cute. A little vintagey decor and this, I can't tell if she just wrote in it or she painted it. I, either way, it kind of looks like she painted it though. $1.25, $1.25. Y'all, I can't. Then keeping up the theme with the like home painted pieces, this cute little Santa boot, this little ceramic Santa E boot. Would you look at that with a little holly on it? Um, this here, I can tell it's a hand piece, like, cause it said you can't see here. It says MP84 on it. 
So again, just a hella cute little boot. I thought you could put some holly in here, a little, put it in your little holiday, like vintage vignette, which I have got a lot of stuff for. 99 cents. 99 cents. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I couldn't. So I couldn't pass that up. Then. I'm gonna say I'm gonna digress a little bit from the Christmas because can I just show you this? It is a vintage Tupperware bowl. And let me tell you a story about my vintage Tupperware bowls. So both my husband and I came into the marriage with a different sizes of this exact same Tupperware bowl. He had the smaller green one, the same one, the smaller green one that he insisted was a cereal bowl that for all time and apparently like he had one he lost in a fire like he got his ex to send him a second one anyways he has had it for like years and then the one i took from my parents house is an orange version so he has like the olive green version and i have the orange version which is slightly smaller than this that was our popcorn bowl for years like when i was growing up so and i'm pretty sure my mom got it as part of like the tupperware she got for her wedding like back in 1973 and then I saw this one and y'all, I love me some vintage Tupperware, no lie. And this here is the next size up. So now I have like all three sizes. So yeah, that is $1.49, $1.49 and green tags were 20% off. I, I, I can't, I can't. This was me in the entire store. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. yeah literally me the entire time i spent 16 dollars at this store like when i i'm gonna keep showing you this and you're gonna be like girl this is going on forever i'm like yes because i like the prices were so good i spent 16 dollars here and like i was looking mainly for christmasy stuff but yeah okay so here's my next in the line of christmas it is a hand again another home ceramic piece it is santa Santa in his little loot bag. And Santa is in great shape. He's got no chips or cracks on him. And they put like, like the glittery stuff, like they infused it with like glittery stuff on, um, on his coat and whatnot, like chunky glitter. They did a great job painting him. And this is JEH 1970. And I was like, oh, you are precious Santa, 1970 Santa. Look, they even put like a little bit of like um fire in his pipe. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They did an amazing job painting him. Anyways, what are you gonna do with here? You put a little airplane in here. A little airplane, a little succulent, a little something something right there for your Santa. Amazing, amazing. This is gonna be the theme throughout this, just like, oh my god, the vintage Christmas. It's a Christmas card list box. Would you look at the vintage amazingness? It does have some scratches on the back here. Look at the top with the little Santa note on the top. On the bottom, it says um, Stylecraft of Baltimore. And it's definitely got some little chippies on the bottom. $249. Two forty nine. I saw these go for like as much as fifty bucks on on eBay and like Etsy. But look inside, everything, nothing's been used in here. Cause I couldn't tell at first. Like, is this like a really nice reproduction or is this the actual thing? Because like nothing has been like touched. There's no notes, no nothing on it. And I wasn't sure, but then I looked at the card list. So this Christmas card list, and I saw that it all had nineteens on it. And there's four twelve no 16 years worth of noting on here so i figured at the very least like if it was a repro it would have 2000 at the beginning or a 20 at the beginning um but it doesn't like literally never been used all the cards are still in here everything is still in like absolutely perfect condition and uh, this this is just ridiculous two dollars and 49 cents for this and I don't know, like, I don't know if those little old ladies, like, they just didn't know, like, how, like, how amazing, like, the vintage stuff was. Because there are definitely things that were, like, more reasonably priced or, like, more expected. You're like, oh, that should be, like, $7 or whatever. But this thing here, like, the fact that this was $2.50 is ridiculous. Ridiculous! And it's, like, in 
pristine condition. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Then I wasn't going to get these, but then I decided to, they were 20% off and they are just little, um, they're slightly different color, but they are, um, I know they're supposed to be like candle holders, but I thought again, you could put, this is for more decor pieces, like to get some height in things. Here, I've got this bird right here. So like, yeah, you put a little bird in here bird salt and pepper shaker from before but it just get gives like a little extra height to like whatever your setup is and so these were 75 cents a piece and again they were like 20 percent off but 75 cents that's like garage sale prices but not in garage sale here this is like 1995 west virginia garage sale prices and i say west virginia because i grew up there's lots of right and it's ridiculous and cheap so good like I couldn't oops I hope that's okay okay now let me tell you about this so I okay so this is a pottery piece by M.A. Hadley M.A. Hadley is known for like this like crazy swirly stuff but it was the words on here and it says pleasure treasure now it's got a slot at the top for I guess money but the slot at the bottom isn't big enough to get your money out. So I don't know what a pleasure treasure is. I, I have no idea. But because it said pleasure treasure, because like, look, if you're gonna put money in here, you can't get no money out of here. There's too small. Like, so you'd have to like break it. And it is missing its little stopper thing, but like you can't get the money out of there. So I don't know what pleasure treasure is. But it was $1.99. $1.99 for some pleasure treasure. And these go for like 20 bucks on Etsy or eBay or whatever. But still, pleasure treasure. I haven't ever seen M.A. Hadley out in the wild. So, I need to pick her up. Um, this here, this is not vintage. It's just a pillar candle holder, which again, I bought to give like some height into some, you know, decor pieces, right? Bird's too small, but you get the picture. And I thought this was really cool. Um, it says it's made in India, antique brown. But I thought it was super cool with the designs on it. So um, again, just another like decor piece to to stack up some stuff. It was dollar forty nine and twenty percent off. Not gonna say no to that. What else is in here? Oh, these. Let me show you. They wrap these up separately. I was so I was so excited yesterday like literally so excited okay so these here are adorable little hand painted sleighs would you look at that and they've got the little gold edging on the rim and these are again a home decor this is like homemade because it says HMF at the bottom, 25 cents, 25 cents. Um, but I thought these would be really cute again for your display. This one does say 1993 Merry Christmas on it for Sally in the back. I am not Sally, but I don't care for 25 cents. And they had four of them. And again, it says HMF on the bottom. And then this one, oh, this was for William. And 1993, Merry Christmas on it. So again, I thought these were hella cute. For a quarter, for a quarter, come on, come on, look. It's like 50 cents even to get some M&Ms out of a vending machine, like out of a turn like gumball machine nowadays. 50 cents, dollars, of course I'm gonna buy those. Um, the next thing I picked up is another, um, again, a decor piece. Like it's, a, I know it's a candle holder cause I got them in the candle holder section. This does have a little wear around the, the edges, like this orange, it's like an orange, black, and gold. Um, I guess it could go either way. I have a hole on the bottom and a hole on the top. So I think it could go either way, right? Depending on. I like it this way better, I think. But again, 
I only have the bird handy. I got the bird handy, right? But oh, there's you, every time I move, you see there's a pumpkin behind me, right? Because I need to clean up some stuff. So I thought that was super cute for a dollar fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna get that for a dollar fifty. And then last, but certainly not least, oh, these little doodads. I got more. So they had smaller ones too to go with those bigger ones. So again, just a little. Now that bird's too big to go on those. So these were 50 cents a piece and then 20% off. So yeah, there was no way I was, I was like, yeah, why not? And these are crafted in the USA. So for all of that, and I paid like $16, I thought it was a fine, fine deal. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, look at all this. Oh. And yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go because I gotta, we do actually have a showing today. Somebody's gonna come look at my place and we haven't had a showing in a week. So the place is kind of messy and I have to work today. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and I will see y'all soon.